just would like to, to express my profound respect and uh, admiration for, for how the Ukrainian people and the government uh, are dealing with, with, uh, with the war. So I'm often in, in, in Poltava, and last time I was uh, checked uh, late at night by, um, uh, by, by a soldier, and um, the, uh, she did it very professionally, and at the end she would ask me, what is your profession? And I said, well, by training I'm a lawyer. And then she said, uh, well, I was a lawyer, and then she paused and said, I will be a lawyer again. And uh, that was the moment when I realized that uh, Ukraine is going to win that war. Talking about attracting FDI is one thing, but uh, let's also talk about those investors who are already here. And I may, may say that uh, I'm having the honor to, to represent one of those, Fed Expo. Uh, we account approximately for 3% of, of the country's exports. We employ 8,000 people in the Poltava area. Uh, we invested since the IPO in London and we are proud to say that we are the only Ukrainian company listed on the London Stock Exchange, on the main one. It does not make much sense to run around in London and Zurich and wherever and try to attract foreign direct investments and talk to BlackRock and JP Morgan and uh, McKinsey and talk about the bright future of Ukraine whilst simultaneously not uh, meeting uh, certain judiciary elements. Uh. And we see obviously huge potential. There is a, a big development in the steelmaking industry. Many of this, many of those in, uh, of you in this room know that from blast furnace steel production to electric arc furnaces which means that you need high grade DRI pellets and uh, no other country no other company is better positioned than us to meet these increasing uh, requirements from from our top uh, steel makers being listed uh, being on the London Stock Exchange listed means that the Fair Expo is in the spotlight of our clients, of our suppliers, and of our investors, of course. We get a lot of questions. Is it true that 40% uh, of your shares are, are supposed to be taken away because a share purchase agreement of 2002 is uh, declared null and void? And is it true that your CEO who is a local hero, Victor Latour, who is so important in the Horizni Plavni region, also as a as a leader figure, is being taken to jail out of out of a hospital, and and then the the authorities asking for a 154 billion bail. It is very important to treat those who are here, who invest, who operate under these conditions. Uh, to treat them fairly and uh, up to international standards. The heroes are not those sitting in London or in warm offices somewhere in Switzerland. The heroes are these 8,000 people who every day go to the mine. And we are super proud that we, under these circumstances, continue to operate. And uh, uh, we all know why that is possible. So I think the challenges we face from that war since 24th of Feb of last year, uh, there's simply no need to have a, another front, an internal front.